Hello and welcome to another LinkedIn Live. It's hard to believe this is actually the seventh in the series now. You're joining us live in our Level Up studio here at Atensi's offices in London. And today I have got a very, very special guest and a dear friend of mine, Matt Simmons from Starbucks. Matt, welcome. Um, you tell us a bit about yourself, Matt, and your role at, at Starbucks. Brilliant. Well, th thank you for having me, Dean. Uh, pleasure, pleasure to be here. Um, so, well, look, I mean, w w some of our journey goes back, right? Does, um, does indeed. <laughs> many years. So, 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 so some of this you, you will know, but um, I've been with Starbucks for 16 years now. Uh, right. Hard to believe. It's absolutely flown by. Um, five years in my current role. Mm. Uh, so I, I currently have the, uh, the pleasure and privilege of looking after uh, learning for the UK market. Yeah. Um, small role. Just a small role. A few absolutely. partners. Absolutely. Just, 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 just 16,000 odd <laughs> partners uh, that, that, that we look after and support with all of their learning needs. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. So Matt, we, we're going to talk today about um, inclusivity and building an inclusive yeah. culture. So I think, and, and obviously I say this with great confidence, and you mentioned obviously our history goes back almost 10 years um, to my time at, yeah. at Starbucks, but Starbucks is known very much as an inclusive brand. Mm -hmm. And you know, I know when I joined the business back in 2015 and I tried to dig into how and what yeah. that is, yeah. and it was quite challenging, but in a positive way. But in your opinion, what do you think help has helped or continues to create that environment at Starbucks? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, it, it's a great question because, to your point, it can mm. be hard to nail it down, yeah. right? You know, they're, 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 there's no manual. That I, was, I was told about a secret source once upon a time, um, yeah. and I, I couldn't quite get into what that was. Yeah, yeah. Right. And, and, and look, I, I think, you know, w one thing that to me, gets close to describing the heart of it is, is a quote from Howard Schultz, mm. who we often, as you know, talk about at Starbucks, you mm. know, our, our ex-CEO and founder. Um, and, and he once said that we're not a coffee business, uh, which might surprise a few people, mm. um, but rather we're a people business in mm. the business of selling coffee. Mm. Yeah. Um, and, and that's very true. I think what we are all about is human connection. Mm. And uh, since, since, since you, were with us in Starbucks actually we've um, re reworded and relaunched mm. um, our mission and values um, which you know we, we, we do hold very dear to us and, mm. and that is something that I do see Starbucks partners strive to live up to every single day mm. and um, within our new mission statement we talk about the limitless possibilities of human connection and that wording is something that I've seen filtered throughout the whole mm. uh, the whole business since since we launched it, and it just brings to the fore that um, you know that that, that that striving to connect, mm -hmm. um, to connect, to welcome, to create a space in which everybody is able to be themselves. Uh, one of the new values that we talk about is that of belonging. And uh, it, it's so so important to us that every single partner, well, and also every single customer, mm. um, every single external partner, like Atensi, you know, f f feels that sense of belonging yeah. when they're with us. Um, how you do that uh, is, is the million dollar question. Mm. I think part of it is, you know, hiring great people, as we did when we hired you. Right? Of course, thanks, <laughs> of course. Matt. Matt, <laughs> did, Matt did employ me, so... <laughs> um, and, and, and then it's about, of course, how you treat mm. uh, the, the, the people once they're with you mm. and, and how you develop them, yep. uh, how you take them on a journey with you. Um, and, and, and that's, you know, that's not an easy thing. Yep. And, and that's something that, you know, you need to work at and yeah. focus on every single day. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the term you've used the, the, of, of belonging, and I think I said when, you know, many those those years ago, when I joined and, and didn't quite really understand that that secret source as we've alluded to. Yeah. And then I think my first Christmas at Starbucks, I'd come from another very large UK based um, retail business. And at Starbucks, of course, in central London, a lot of our stores yeah. were open and, and I had a queue of my team 
queue of people wanting to work Christmas Day. And I'm, That's I'm right. Thinking, I remember that, yeah. yeah. Are you sure? And, and I realised that a lot of our partners were from, you know, all over the world, mm -hmm. away from friends and family. And of course, Starbucks gave them a, a sense of belonging and a place yeah. to be where they could be together, which I thought was super, super powerful and something I've not come across before in my yeah. years. So it makes a lot of sense. So, Matt, again, talk, talking like old men, it's been a, a, a number of years now, the Attensi yeah. and, and the Starbucks partnership. And of course, I've had the personal pleasure <clears throat> to also see different parts of learning and training um, converted over to yeah. you know, real, real life game-based simulations and the impact that's had. So we know that obviously now we cover many aspects of training, but something really special happened recently. So some training was created with, on British Sign Language yeah. Um, aptly known as BSL training. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? And yeah, uh, absolutely, Dean. And, and, and look, I, I think, you know, we see this very much as being part of our work on inclusion and diversity yeah. generally. Um, and I would say that's been one thing that has changed in my time at Starbucks. And though, it, you know, that, that, that spirit, that intention mm. to welcome people, regardless of background, was always mm. there. What I have seen shift is... Um, the realization that you have to do that in a much more intentional way, mm. right? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's not just something that happens. Yeah. Um, so, as part of that work, mm. um, we we have recently, um, well, I say recently, actually, it actually rolled out last October. Yeah, uh, time flies. Yeah. Um, have developed and rolled out a a, a module within a tenancy to educate um, our partners around the deaf community and to give them some basic. Um, understanding of British Sign Language yeah. uh, and how they can use that to create an inclusive environment for our deaf customers. Well, Amazing. and indeed for deaf partners, yeah, of actually. Yeah. Um, and, and, and I highlight that point because I think one of the things that I was most proud of with this work mm. is that this grew organically from our mm. partners. Mm. Um, so this wasn't a top-down initiative. Yeah. So uh, I'll, I'll give a quick name check to him here. Um, maybe he's, he, he's listening. Uh, Toro Manka. Who, Toro, uh, if you're not listening, why aren't you listening? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, a, a long-standing partner, great, Definitely. great partner. You, you know him yeah. well, of course. Um, now a district manager with us, was a store manager, and he really spearheaded the work that we've done to this point with the deaf community. Mm -hmm. He employed a number of deaf partners within yeah. the store that he ran. Um, he's uh, educated himself on sign language, um, now studying for a level six um, in, in, in British sign language. And he came to us actually with the proposal. Mm. And, 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 and at that point we had no idea mm. what it would look like. Mm. Um, but he just came and said, well, we should be doing more. Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, I had a conversation with him and I was like, yeah, you're, you're right, we should yeah. be. Yeah. Um, we then picked up that conversation, of course, yeah. with, with the Tensi yeah. and said, well, what, what, what can we do? Yeah. Um, and that, that, that started the journey. And, uh, you know, I, I would say, um, and I'm not just saying this because you're here, but, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but Tensi were brilliant at supporting that intention to do something, to do something different, uh, to do something really creative and engaging and yeah. fun. Yeah. Um, and I think that's what we've got. That's what we've yeah. delivered to all of our partners, something that is fun, engaging, yeah. something that they want to use. Yeah, I think um, listening to our talk, although not directly involved in the project, um, I know that the team here at Atensi felt the kind of, they very much felt the same way yeah. and not yeah. only did they thoroughly enjoy building it, but I suppose the, the element of challenge around it and then obviously to what it is now, which is an absolutely heartfelt, beautiful yeah. uh, creation. So trainings, the training's out, the training's available to Everyone, all stores. It is so, 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 so absolutely. So, so, so we we took the decision to launch it to all of our UK stores at the same time. Yeah. Um, both those stores that are company owned and operated by our licensees, yeah. um, and we 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 took the decision to to not make it mandatory training mm -hmm. because we thought it was important that it was something that partners took the decision to engage with. Which I like, really wanted to Absolutely, do Absolutely, right? Um, and, 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 and we didn't want to force anybody yeah. to, to do something they didn't feel comfortable with. Um, but we were absolutely blown away, actually, by the engagement levels that we got. Um, so, you know, 
very quickly we were receiving glowing feedback on it from our partners. Um, as of now, so we're what, six, seven months in? Um, or almost eight actually. 63% uh, of all partners within the UK. Um, so, and that's, as I said earlier, that's several that's, thousand people. That, that's a lot of people, right? <laughs> yeah. that, that, so that, that, that's kind of 10, 11,000 partners yeah. um, have completed the training. Wow. Um, and completed at least once. Yeah, yeah. Because the other thing that the data is showing us, of course, is that partners are choosing to repeat it yeah. in order to practice yeah. their ability to sign. Yeah. Um, and, 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 and it's been, you know, honestly, one of the most popular and engaging products that we've launched so far. Uh, so, you know, we, we, we have carried out a survey with all the partners that completed of it, of course, so that's that's that standard. Um, but the feedback has just been absolutely stellar. Mm. Um, I, mean, I, I mean, practically no dissenting voices in terms of, you know, th this is useful, this is engaging, yeah. this is something that I want to do. Yeah. Um, the, the comments, if you get a chance to read the comments yeah, yeah. as well, are yeah. just beautiful. Um, because they speak to um, how this has helped our partners to, mm. to feel more engaged mm. with creating that inclusive environment yep. for, for deaf customers, for deaf partners. As well, right? Exactly, exactly. It builds that sense of confidence. Yeah. We've also received a number of comments from partners that, um, even if not a member of the deaf community themselves, mm. uh, have family members that are. Yeah. And they're incredibly thankful for the message that that sends. Yeah. Right? That, yeah, that, of that, course. That, that, yeah, that, that, you know, everybody is welcome. Yeah. Um, we've received some fantastic customer feedback as well, um, unprompted. Yeah. I mean, the, the one that really sticks in my mind was actually a LinkedIn post yeah. um, from uh, a member of the deaf community that visited uh, one of our Ewer garages stores, yeah. uh, a drive through And um, he, uh, as was his habit, uh, got out his, his notepad in order to write down yeah. his order. And he was blown away that our partner signed to him. <laughs> <laughs> that um, must be such a nice feeling, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, I'm, I'm so proud that we were able to make his day yeah. uh, and, and, and make him feel welcome. So it's been brilliant. Um, however, you know, it does not stop there uh, because the module that we've launched you know, covers the basics, yeah. covers some, some welcoming signs, mm. the alphabet, um, as well as you know, just some context and facts about the deaf community yep. and how you how you can create a more welcoming environment. That's a great start, but we know that we need to do more. And and actually, the overwhelming piece of feedback that we received alongside this is great mm. was was give me more. So Amazing. so 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 through the through the survey I mentioned, you know, the one thing that our partner said was fantastic, but we want more. Amazing. Uh, what's next? It's really wet the appetite. Absolutely, almost. absolutely. So look, I'm, I'm really pleased to say that actually, just as of yesterday, we, we, we held the kickoff meeting um, to to commence the design work on phase two. Fantastic. Um, of, of, of this. Fantastic. Well, look, I think listening to you talk, I think you know, going back to the start of our conversation uh, and the culture of Starbucks and that inclusivity and that sense of belonging, I think to to develop training that's so heartfelt is and then to get to a place of and understand why it wouldn't be mandatory and, and yeah. you know that absolutely definitely feels like the right approach is not make it mandatory but there's testament to the business right there to have 63 percent of 16,000 store partners complete the training that isn't mandatory given how busy their working lives yeah. are yeah. and then to come to you asking for more I think there's there's this double edge there a for me it's a beautiful heartfelt piece of training and learning but also real testament to kind of the uh, the, the culture that is Starbucks and look forward to, to playing the next set of modules see if I can score a little bit better this time um, so just just really Bluntly, Matt, what's next? What's next? Well, so, 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 so a couple of things. Um, well, as I mentioned, uh, we, we have phase two of BSL mm -hmm. coming. We also have some further inclusion and diversity um, modules that we're developing for rollout later this year that, are, that I'm mm -hmm. really excited by. Mm. Um, we, we, we did roll out the first phase of that earlier this year, and that's yep. been very well received. 
Um, so, so, so phase two is coming later this year. We're also actually just doing a little work just around embedding what we've got already. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I'm really excited by, though, um, actually, is the work that we're doing on apprenticeships. And, and something quite y- dear to your heart. Yeah, it? yeah, it, it absolutely is. And um, I mean, I, I, I was involved in the pilot, mm. um, actually, when we first rolled out apprenticeships mm. um, to, to the UK business well, over 10 years ago. Mm. Um, and I can remember s- sitting in store interviewing potential um, ap- ap- apprentice, apprentices um, at that time. And, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's been good up mm. to this point. Yeah. I think, though, we have the ambition to do much more. Mm. So uh, we, we do have a plan to kind of turbocharge the number of apprentices okay. that we have on programme um, o- o- over the next year. Well, so is, do you mind me asking what that looks like or can you not say? Yeah, so, 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 so we're setting a target for next year to have 250 learners wow. Amazing. Um, on programme. Is that across? Across stores, head office, that, sports centre. That, that's that's just across our equity stores. Amazing. Um, so uh, actually, we think with our licensees involved, the number will be higher. Yeah, um, for sure. But 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 yeah, we'll, you know, we that will be the first step. But that's you know quite an ambitious target mm. for us, but one that we definitely think that we can achieve. Um, <clears throat> we have just partnered with a new partner in this space called Inspiro, um, who I'm very excited to to, mm. to be working with. Um, and we've also just committed, actually, um, to um, joining the 5% club. Okay. So, so meaning that 5% uh, of all of our workforce would be engaged in, in, in skills wow. training. It's amazing. Um, so, you know, that, 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 that's a really good measure for us to, to, to be aiming for that. We're, 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 we're well on the path to it, mm. and, and we think that we'll, we'll hit that 5% target next year for sure. Amazing. Really, really impressive. And as I said, I know it's something that's always been very close to your heart, the yeah. world of apprenticeships. So Matt, this sounds incredible, but if I can for a moment, like change direction. Yeah. So um, if there's not a business or a sector that isn't talking about AI right now, yeah. what are they talking about? It's, it's kind of a term that's in everybody's head and mm-hmm. been spoken about so much. But you know, Matt, I know your years in L&D go back a, a long, long way. So I want to take this opportunity and, and ask you a question around it. So um, AI and learning, do you see this as a, a, a crucial, has it got a crucial part to play in L&D world? Uh, yes, so, so, so absolutely. And, and um, look, I, I think there's, there's two mindsets you can mm. have um, in, in considering AI, right? You, you can be very fearful. Mm-hmm bluntly mm. and look I you know I grew up watching the Terminator movies <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, <laughs> I don't think we're ready for Arnold Schwarzenegger no, no. workshops just <laughs> no. yet yeah. so you know you, you could take that mindset or you know if not quite as extreme as Arnie turning up um, that the AI is going to take our jobs yeah um, I, I don't think it will and and I'm taking a different mindset that actually AI can be a great tool to simplify take away some of the mm, the grunt work yeah. that, 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 that comes alongside the jobs that we all have to do yeah. um, and, and actually be a great tool to, to aid learning. Um, I think though what it does do is potentially shift the function of, 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 of a learning okay. team to be well actually how do we support that work, mm. how do we educate, how, you know, how do we yeah. create learning opportunities about AI itself. Mm. Um, so we had our team meeting last one but month, and one of, one of my team, Jasmine, did a, did a great job of sharing her learnings around yeah. the importance of prompts, right? Yeah, and yeah, you, yeah. you, you, you will know this, right? Yeah. It's this is what what you put in is only as, what you get out is only as good as what you right. put in. That's rubbish the polite in. way of saying it, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rubbish in, rubbish yeah. out, yeah. Um, and, and 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 that's absolutely key. Um, and I think that's something that we're all going to have to learn mm. in the next few years. And, and so actually part of our work as a learning function will be how do we support that? Yeah. Um, and, and, and how do we create, you know, AI opportunities that take away the boring work? And so it's almost like yeah. educate, making sure the team's educated on AI to be able to get the best out of... AI. I think so. Yeah. I, I think that's going to be really, really important. And in turn, maybe help and enhance the jobs that you don't necessarily are your favourite jobs to do. But yeah, that's right. That's, yeah, yeah, spot on. 
Um, and, and, you know, I, I think that's something that I definitely see as partnering with Atencion mm. as well. I, I, I know there's some really exciting developments really is, coming yeah. down the line. Really um, I think I'm getting a little preview of some of it this afternoon, which I'm very <laughs> much looking forward to. Yeah. You may well be. <laughs> <laughs> you may well be. Matt, listen, thank you so much uh, for being here. Really, really appreciate it. We are off to do some coffee tastings, I hope. <laughs> Um, but thank you for tuning in. Of course, you can always watch this on record if you're unable to join us right in this moment. Um, but we'd love to hear any thoughts you have, any comments or any questions you have for myself or Matt, please do reach out. Or if you'd like to get in the driving seat of any of our game-based solutions, you've just to ask, so let's connect. And we look forward to seeing you again very soon. See you soon.